Good morning from Humboldt Park, I think. Pretty sure. Anyway, camped here solo last night. Just a nice quiet evening. Drank some beers in the park last night and uh, and had a little bit of a barbecue with some friends. So uh, nothing's major, but it's nice to kind of recharge a little bit after the last few days. I've been really exhausted biking around this city trying to keep up with these guys. So I'm uh, laying on my new couch and I'm watching um, Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown and sipping myself some good old coffee. Can't seem to wrestle these bike messengers out of bed on their day off. So, it's almost noon. I'm gonna hang out at this park here. I might do some fishing. It's nice. A little bit of uh, camp style, lifestyle, camp vibes in the middle of Chicago. See, there's something inherently confusing about Chicago. I was always told that Chicago is a very dangerous city, and I'm sure that at certain places and certain times it definitely is. But my experience so far in Chicago has been nothing but pleasant, and I get the overwhelming impression that it's just kind of like if the Midwest decided to all group together and make up a city of around three million, and you got Chicago. Refreshingly, there's less box stores than I thought I'd see. There's more unique places than I thought I'd see. It's much more beautiful than I thought I'd see. It's, it's a lot less of a rough city than you think it is. At least that's my experience so far. I've been told there's certain neighborhoods that I should probably stay out of. Maybe I'll drive through them just to check it out. Squirt. Seven up. <laughs> Tacos, it's on the menu. Jesus. So much better than any kind of breakfast you can get in Ottawa. Any kind. This is amazing. It's true. It's true. It's so fun. Try it. Try it. I know it's good. You just need to. You're a hater. Finished my breakfast. Ashley's breakfast finished her. Billy's gonna go take a nap. Bye, Billy. Okay, apparently we're being too healthy, so now we're gonna go get donuts. Just wanted to stay for the fact that I've been making very responsible decisions this entire trip. Over drinking. Over. Oh, oh no. It's closed. Oh, planning. I don't know why, Ashley, but it's totally your fault. It's totally your fault. These are some of the bikes that these guys ride. Variety, gears, disc brakes. No gears, no brakes, just all types, all types. This handlebar goes down here, attaches that pole, goes all the way up here, and turns this wheel. Giving them all this cargo space in the middle to carry big heavy objects. It's a pretty crazy bike. Bye Max. Guys. For pizza later, maybe? Yeah, let me know. Yeah, man. Let's do pizza. I haven't had pizza ones in a long time, but as far as like what you would consider Chicago style, Lou Malnati's is like really up there. All right. What? Yeah. Max, my cell phone number's on this piece of cardboard. Use it to contact me via text message. This is a different card. We're going to the top of this. See those, those little boxes? I gotta stand there, that's a glass floor. Hopefully we'll let us do it, but I'm scared. It would be really dope if they didn't let me do it, because I'm really scared. But, to be a tourist, just to get it done. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you see the little humans up there? No, look. I don't wanna look at them. <laughs> I don't wanna look at them. No, it's nice, they're like little bugs. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Ooh. I have a secret to tell you. It's $22 to get up there. I'm not making enough off YouTube to do this yet. 
But I'll tell you what, I'll take you up the CN Tower. It's cheaper, I think, <laughs> and uh, it's more spectacular. It's pretty tall though. We weren't the only ones that had the idea to go for deep dish pizza at uh, Quetz Pizza tonight. So uh, it's a little overcrowded, and there's a 90 minute wait to get in for a table of two. So we're gonna go check out, see if we can't find a deep dish somewhere else. This is attempt number two for good, delicious deep dish pizza. Um, we got a look at some of the tables at the last place, and I wish it wasn't so busy because that looks divine. Hopefully, um, this place we're going to right now is gonna live up to it. Something about a neon sign that spells good pizza. Let's go get some. Holy crap, it's like empty in here. That's a little concerning. There's no one in here. What? That is, that's a really sizable crust. Just a lot going on right there. Good at what you do. Thanks. <laughs> oh boy. That pizza was freaking divine. What? That was so good. But it wasn't like uh, any other kind of pizza I've had. It's just, just the reordering of the toppings being, you know, not essentially essentially in, in sequential order as I'm used to just change the whole thing anyway we're gonna go to a bonfire now maybe we can rope up some beer too <laughs> <laughs> 